Uh, hi, my name is Gary Chong and I'm the uh, writer, director, editor of 3075 My Earth, which uh, has been chosen as a top 10 finalist in this competition, the Virjaya Youth Short Film Competition. Some of the world's top scientists have concluded unequivocal is the word they use. Ah, uh, well, 375 Mile came about when you know when, when you're going to sleep, right? And um, you, you you start to think about just random things. So I was actually thinking, okay, I'm in a mall and I see this wave, a sea of people. And all of a sudden, I see this bald man, you know, no hair whatsoever, no eyebrows walking towards me. If you were to see that person walking in perhaps your mall here, or you know, any of the malls in Malaysia, you would probably think like, this person probably is dying, this person probably is ill, this person probably has cancer or whatever not. And the thing is that, isn't that the same like how we see our earth? Because, you know, when we walk around, we see trees, we see flowers, we see the forest, and we go like, everything's okay. Everything's normal. But imagine what would happen if you see an Earth which does not have any of this. Then we'll go like, it's dying, it's sick, it perhaps has cancer. And um, the symbolism of that man, I incorporated into 30 Cent 5 My Earth. And I was thinking, what if the generation, not after now, but perhaps three generations down the line, what if our Earth was really just destroyed? You know, and there, there is no forest, there is no trees, there is no flowers anymore. And what would happen if they were to ask their parents and go like, what, how was it like, how was the green? Because they have no definition of a flower, of a forest, of a tree. They go like, how is the green? And it was an interesting perspective to try to put that into the short film, to try to say that from this perspective of this girl, who could only see the green through a virtual reality program, which is um, the only way that she could actually connect with what we actually have in the present day, our, our reality. And uh, yeah, so that was how the idea came about. Yeah, it would be this. Our Earth is something that we take for granted most of the time. Um, a lot of facts might be told, a lot of things might be said. But the main thing is that what about future generations? You know, what if we are not on the Earth anymore? We can only survive on another planet. And when we look back at the Earth, it's just a memory of what once was home. That's scary. To win it, man. Um, I shaved off my friggin' eyebrows for the competition, so yeah. You know, there was a 50% probability everybody was telling me it's not gonna grow back. So that was kind of scary. So it's back. If you can see right now, I'm the bald man. I'm the earth. Uh, Dr. N.V. Prasad, Dr. Mayuddin Ahmad. Um, these are awesome theoretical film people. Um, I also uh, look up to uh, a myriad of directors, uh, Edgar Wright, Pierre Morel, uh, French New Wave directors from Cahiers du Cinema, Jean-Luc uh, Jean Godard, Francois Truffaut, uh, Eric Roma. Yeah, so I mean, uh, these are role models uh, per se. Yeah. I have to thank my father for actually inspiring me. You know, it might have been directly or inadvertently to actually see that cinema, the screen, film itself has such a powerful pull. It can make you cry, it can make you laugh, it can make you scared. It can bring forth a message, like in my short film, a message about preserving and saving the earth. I love the organization. Everything is very prompt. Um, every inquiry, the response was awesome from the organizational team. Um, I also love the teams were, were diverse in that sense. You know, you had BFF, you had Traditions Life, you had My Earth. It's so diverse. It, and it was awesome because it opens a platform for filmmakers of different genres, of different um, backgrounds to actually come together and just say, hey, this is the best that I can offer. And uh, Malaysia, you know, it's up to you. What do you think about it? And also, you know, um, this is the message we wanted to just portray. So I think the diversity was awesome. The organization was awesome. And also the, the prizes are actually quite attractive. So yeah, so um, yeah, I'm gonna put that to the last one because I don't want to be too materialistic or money minded. But you know, at the end of the day, yeah, somebody still has got to eat, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. First of all, um, uh, me, I will actually give my crew, okay, uh, 
big portion of the cash because uh, the thing is that um, the thing is they, they've worked so hard, they've invested so much into this project and you know, I, I just give them uh, a big portion of the cash just to you know, just bless them with that all. Uh, the rest all to invest the money to produce another short film you know, um, you know, for 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 me to actually bring up that my filmmaking endeavors to another level. So yeah, so basically that that be it. And the camera, I'll, if I win, I'll keep it to produce better quality of videos and uh, yeah, just better production values. You know, because um, yeah, the ideas in here still a lot going on, and the money would be good to build tools to actually channel those ideas into into the cinema scope. Hi, my name is Gary Chong. I'm the writer, director, editor of 3075 My Earth. If you like the film, uh, please support it. Please vote for it. Um, you know, it's a little bit out there, but you know, if you can just catch on to that vision, I think our Earth deserves uh, that message to just spread out. So please support me. Uh, thank you. Have a great and blessed day ahead.